Hey guys, today I'm doing an easy DIY install. Now, I ordered some lights recently from Recreation Pro and I got a lot, uh, several different items, but one of the installs I'm doing is a blue strip light underneath the trailer, just for indirect lighting while we're camping. Now, I won't have these turned on while we're driving down the road, I'll just have them turned on while we're set up at the campsite. I'm not gonna wire them to the trailer harness or the wiring harness for the running lights, I'm gonna wire it directly to a switch to the battery that's on the trailer so that I can turn that on and off whenever I need to. It's LED lights, it's not gonna draw a lot of power at all. Now here is the LED lights. It's two rolls in here, it's about 20 feet. It's 100% waterproof, it's sealed at one end and the other end has the wiring that comes out, a positive and negative to go to the battery or to the power source. Uh, it's called LED strip light, it's made by Perfit, I believe it's Perfit, blue in color. So we're gonna try that out. But first, I need to install the channel. The channel also came from Recreation Pro. It came with the lights, and it's just a plastic channel with double-sided tape on the back. It's uh, the double-sided tape made by 3M. So you just pull the backing off and stick it or attach it to wherever you need to attach it. I'm putting this on the underneath side of my trailer, so I'm gonna go around the framing on the inside of the framing. And basically, I'm just gonna get under there, clean it off good. Hopefully, this stuff's gonna stick good. And after I get all the channel attached, then I can go back with the strip lights and just insert into the channel. There's no directions with this stuff. It's, it's DIY, it's made for DIY projects. So that's what we're doing. Let's take the channel and the lights and see what we can do. Okay, I just installed the track here. And now I have to go back and put the lights inside that track. They just slide right in. And I was concerned about how well they stick. Now I did go back and, and clean this metal. I cleaned that off earlier with just some spray cleaner. I, actually, I believe it was glass cleaner. Wiped it down good. And this thing has 3M tape. And I'm telling you, I was concerned about that, but I mean, that thing's on here. That stuff sticks really, really well. A lot better than I thought. Just pressing that on real good. All right, that's on there. All right, here is the blue light strips after I have them installed. And they look really good from outside, but I haven't seen them in the dark yet. I don't know how many little lights. It's kind of hard to see that. If you can see, it's a lot of individual LED lights in this strip. And that's up close and they fit right in this little channel that I showed you and the channel I mean this I can flex it a little bit but it's not coming off it's stuck real good with the 3M tape and the light stop there on the driver's side and go around and then all the way on the passenger side and then it goes up front I don't know if yeah up front so the wiring goes in on the driver's side there at that end and i'll show you that shortly it looks good i'm gonna check it out here in a couple of hours when it gets dark okay i brought the wiring in now this is the driver's side and the wiring comes in right there you can see that just drilled a hole right through and uh put some caulk there and brought it up now i'm gonna Put that in the corner a little later on and then attach that so that it's not it's not loose out here i just put an eye hook here just to hold it for now this is where the wiring that came with the lights ended and i attached more wiring there now i drilled a hole through this two by four so then come in there and come out here and then it goes into the box here this was a, a pre-existing hole i had some flashlight chargers here I've taken them off because over time I realized I was not using them at all. So I took those off, put these wires through this existing hole, and there's enough loose wire where I can pull this thing down and get in there. I'll show you that. All right. Okay, I just have two screws here at the top and it's hinged at the bottom with a piano hinge. You've seen that on my other video, I'm sure, but here's where the wire comes in. 
and like I said, I left enough here so that I can move that up and down without any trouble. I just put a wire tie on this side of the hole and on this side so it's, it's not going anywhere. I just pulled the wires over to here, this plug, soldered them on there, the positive, to positive, negative, negative, and then that is already attached to a switch here. And you see that switch is on. That's how I cut the blue lights on. So I just make a label and put above that for the blue lights and cut it off and on there. I also have a 12 volt plug here. That is what the blue lights are actually wired to. So when I cut the switch on, it cuts on the blue lights, but also cuts on the plug there. Another thing I did here is I only had red wire. I had two different sizes. I think this is, uh, this is 16 and this is 18 maybe, but I only had red wire. So if you don't have any other black or any other color to use as ground wire or negative, then, uh, you know, do what I did. I used a Sharpie and marked this one so I would know uh, it doesn't have to be black, but you need to mark it so you know that it is the negative and the red being the positive. And just, it's a short piece, so I wouldn't try to use a Sharpie on a long piece, just go buy more wire. But for this short application here, mark using a Sharpie is just fine. All right, guys, I'm out here working with my trailer. I'm showing you now the blue light strips underneath. This is really cool. And I just wanted to take an opportunity to light this thing up and see how it works. I had it lit up in the shop earlier, and you couldn't really tell anything by that. But for some indirect lighting there at the campsite, that's pretty awesome. I know a lot of people are going to the indirect lighting with these blue light strips. I thought it was going to be kind of difficult. There's no directions with it at all. Basically, you just put them on and uh, wire it up. I mean, it's, it's simple. That's the bottom side of my trailer. And I had to go by behind some bolts up there. You can see those two bolts. It's going to be hard to get the strip, the actual... Uh, lighting strip inside the little channel so I cut the channel and just put the channel on this side of those bolts and on the other side and the lighting strip fit right behind it so um, you can separate the channel if you need to it worked out really good now those wires right here they're not hanging down as low as they look right there after not hanging down low at all it's just it looks like it from that angle and up front yeah really cool i am pleased again i got those from recreationpro.com some really cool lights all right, guys, I thought that turned out really good. It's a good light to have there around the campsite, uh, just kind of an indirect light. It's not bright. It's not meant to be bright, but it does give off a good glow, and it turned out really good. Made the little trailer look pretty good there at night. I can't wait to see it set up around the campsite. Now, this was an easy DIY project. Nothing hard about that. Just pull the backing off the tape, attach it to where you need to after you've cleaned that area. Then after you roll out the lights, insert the lights into the channel, and then run the wiring where you need to to attach it to the power source. Check them out online, recreationpro.com. I'll put a link to them below in the description as well as information on these strip lights. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a great day.